Hi, welcome back for another episode of Component Level Board Repair. So I was sick, la well, sick last week and I look like shit. And the thing is, I'm not sick anymore. I don't have a fever, but I still look like shit. And I'm kind of worried, like, is this one of those things where, I mean, I'm just going to be stuck like this? Like, I know my eyes are usually black and blue and just, regardless of how much sleep I get, it doesn't matter. I can go to sleep at 7 at night. I could wake up at 12 noon the next day. I still look like this. That's just, that's just you know, amazing genetics. But I feel like I'm stuck. Like, I, I realize that I've gotten uglier from where I was a month ago, which, which, which takes work, by the way. And, um, yeah, it's not going back. Maybe this is just what they call aging. But I find it interesting that it happened right after getting sick. It's like I'm, I'm permanently uglier now. That, that, that's just, that, that, that's great. I'm, I'm going to get a, I'm gonna have to get somebody else to do these videos once I'm too ugly to be on camera anymore. Anyway, so what we have over here is a board that is completely dead. So when I plug the charger in, as you'll see, I get no green light. Now, if you've been following my videos for any period of time, you know that we need the PP3V42 underscore G3 hot power line to be present in order for the charger to talk to the SMC so that we can get a green light. So if I were to look this up on the schematic and the board view here, I will be able to show you how that works. And I'm going to be short with explaining how it works because I've explained it about 200 times in prior videos. If you want to know exactly how the one wire circuit works, search through my videos, click on my name down below and search through my videos for the word one wire, one word, one wire. So this is going to be the one wire circuit area. Now I know, I know, confusing, confusing, confusing. Let's break this down and try to make it simple because when it's all out like this and it's new, it's confusing. So you have this over here, which is your charger. So this, this thing that you're looking at over there, that's this. That's where this plugs into the computer. J, I think stands for jumper or something. So that, that, that's pretty much where any type of wired connector is going to be. Now, over here you have 18 volts power, ground, which is needed for a circuit, and then you have adapter sense. Now, what do you think is going to be responsible for that little light turning on? So this light, well, when does this light turn on? This light turns on when it senses a computer. So it's not on right now, but when I plug it in, I expect it to turn green because it has sensed the computer. So this is required for the light to turn on. Now, this is going to this chip, U7000. Now, it has a couple of pins here. It has GND, ground. That's not going to be for anything because ground is nothing. It has EXT. It has INT, which goes to SIS1 wire. And then it has VCC. Now, VCC usually means uh, here is where power is coming in. So as I always say, this is my microscope camera. This is the uh, pl plug that goes into the wall for it. And this is my microscope camera's VCC pin. So it needs to have power there in order for it to turn itself on. Same way that U7000 needs to have power at pin 1 in order to turn on. So what's going to bring power to pin 1 of this chip? This thingy over here. And how does this work? This is a logic gate. When you have A and B, you get Y. So when PP3V42 is present, because PP3V42 is the power line that turns this on, you, uh, so then this will be on. And when this is on and it sees A and B are present, so SMC, BC, AC, OK is present, it will shoot out 3.42 volts out of Y, which will then power this chip. Now this chip allows the adapter external to talk to the SMC, internal, the chip inside the computer. And then the this chip over here, the SMC, via the SIS one wire line, is going to allow the charger to talk to the computer, and the char and the computer is going to say, "Computer, I'm a, I mean charger, I'm a computer. Turn on, give it a light," and that's that. So we need 3.42 volts for that to happen. Now, if I were to try and measure PP3V42 on this motherboard, let's see if there's any place in the top of the board I can measure PP3V42 underscore G3 hot. I'm going to try and measure this, and we're going to see what we get. So I'm going to put the multimeter over here and hope that you can see it, but you probably won't be able to see it. A bunch of 16-year-olds just walked in and asked if I, buy, if I sell or buy, or do I buy? I said no, and he's like, you know anybody that buys? I pointed to somebody that buys. Because I know what, well, what do you buy. In the East Village, I know exactly what do you buy stuff means. That means will you take my stolen stuff. And I point him over to CEX. Again, you should never say, I can't help you. You should say, I can't help you, but here's who may. So that instead of them having uh, negative feelings towards you, they have negative feelings towards whoever the fuck they decided to go to. You know, just pa pass the buck, keep it moving. So I, uh, I refer them to CX and they're like, oh, you have to be 16, 18 to buy. I'm like, how old are you? 16. And it's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to buy stuff off of you then. And then the other kid asks, so you do iCloud unlock? And I go, no. 
Like, How about just taking it for parts? And it's like, why, why don't you just give it back to whoever you took it from? My God, they exploded with anger. But still, why do you need to iCloud unlock it? Why are you so eager to sell it without showing ID? Because you stole it. I mean, come they like got like seriously offended, but they weren't even trying to hide the fact that this shit was stolen. That's the, that's what kills me. Like not even hide it. Like it was just like you can tell when somebody walks in and they're like, "So, um, um, did, did you you buy stuff? Uh, you can ask for ID. Um, yeah, I got a, I got a phone for you. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, man." And they start yelling. Oh. Oh, we gonna come back with this, and we I'm gonna come back. Well, we're gonna fuck. No, you're, no, you're, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're, that's the thing, because if you if you have to go through your life, if that's how you go through life, like taking phones when people aren't looking, you're not. I'm sorry, you don't scare me. Like that that gang that that, that is not what gangsters do. Anyway, so PP three v four two is missing, and this just so happens to be the chip required for the creation of the PP three v four two circuit. Like, I tried to be polite up until he started going into the iCloud shit and, like, jittering and all that. So this is what this looks like on a board that's, like, partially fucked. And this is what it looks like on a board that's totally fucked. So these boards have a slightly different layout, but one thing that you should be able to tell is that somebody stabbed this motherboard. So I say that because, actually, this isn't in focus, is it? Yeah, this isn't in focus for you. Oh, somebody moved my camera. I'm going to blame Jason. It's easy to blame the new guy for everything. Yeah, Jason. Jason, you touching my camera? Every now and then I come in and I see Jason sitting at my desk. And then my camera's out of focus. My computer's frozen. New people. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so this diode needs to get refloated into place. What is going on here, man? I'm not the first person to be here. Like, come on, what the fuck is this? This doesn't, this doesn't happen on its own. And I don't get what's going on with this shit. I really don't. Now this board is a little bit of a different layout than the one that my donor. This board has less RAM on it, and because it has less RAM. A lot of stuff is in different places because that's just the way Apple does business. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to see if there's a short to grounds on PP3 before too. Maybe there's a reason for this nonsense, for this fuckery. So we're just going to check and see if there's a short to ground. Do you buy phones? Do you buy? Do you do iCloud unlock? Are you going to ask me for my ID? Why don't you just show me your like your membership card to like people who steal phones? Like, hi, I'm a criminal. Cause that's the thing, like if I was gonna steal a phone and do that shit, like I would be so I would be smart about it. You know? Like when it gets I you know, I would go no short to ground, 0.278 in diode mode. It's like my like I would be I would do I would do it a little bit differently, you know? Okay. So do you do you guys buy phones? Yes. Okay, here you go. And then, you know, when it comes time to show the ID, I'm gonna go through my pocket and be like, crap. Oh, yeah, it's Sunday. It's because today's Sunday. I could go, oh, my, oh, man, I knew that that woman at the bar last night wasn't after me for, you know, just because she liked me. She took my wallet. You know, I play, it, I play off something smart. So, you know, people could say what they want later, but at the very least, you try to play it off smart, make it seem like you're not the one that stole. You know, it's not that I don't want to show you my ID. I just don't have it on me right now because of these unfortunate circumstances. And you could play, you know, again, like, but. There's, there's, they weren't trying to play anything off smart. Why do you think I'm a fucking idiot? Get the fuck out of here. It's, it's insulting. Insulting to the intelligence. All right, so let, let, let's, let, let's do a little bit of corrective surgery. Like, I've owned a store in New York for... Almost four years now, like an actual, no, not just a regular office, an actual store. And you think I'm so dumb that I think that you did not steal that phone. My God. Why are you jittering? Why are you shaking? 
Trust me, I know the difference. And that's the thing. You, 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 you learn this stuff as time goes on. I know the difference between Parkinson's or Huntington's shaking and I just stole a full and shake. Like, it's... You own a store long enough and it becomes obvious. Are you going to make me show my ID? Why do you want to sell a phone without showing your ID? Why do you not want to give me a real name? Why are you asking about iCloud Unlock? Why are you all giggling? Why do you all seem like you've done something wrong? It's just like... Why is this chip welded to the board? This chip does look like it's welded to the board. Double checking to make sure I unplug the battery. Thank God. That would have been just really dumb. This is at 450 Celsius, so... Four hundred fifty Celsius, and this thing's not even moving. Just checking to make sure that this thing's putting out hot air, and it is. Got to keep looking up and make sure nobody walks in. Yeah, this is this is nuts. The amount of heat that these boards absorb is absolutely nuts. I could probably sit here all day with this and not melt any solder. Not even the resistors or capacitors around it are willing to... Actually, yeah, the capacitor is willing to move. So we're getting close to that melting point. Maybe I need more air? I gave it some more air. And I'm gonna have to reflow that die out into place, so I might as well put the damn flux there. Yeah, let's give you a better view. See the die out up here? That die out is almost all the way off the path. Okay, so that diode is floating into place. My capacitor has flown. Played. Flew? Flied? Flighted it? Holy crap, you don't want to come off. And here we ruin another pair of tweezers. Get the fuck off! How do you this, how does this shit happen, man? This did not happen on its own. Where's the top of this chip? It burned off, but where's the rest of it? And where's that pad? Somebody did something here, and I want to know. Is everything that comes in the door going to be something that's been fucked with now? I guess that's just how it is. That's the world that we live in today. All right. So we're gonna have to run a wire there because there's no... There's no friggin' pad. Let's see. Can I run the wire without somebody walking in? Hopefully. Let's go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, the wire. Gonna drop some flux there. Gonna have a little bit of solder on the iron. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe a lot. I thought it was a little bit, but then I look under the microscope and it's a lot. This isn't going very well because the fucking MagSafe connector is in the way. All right, tweezers, tweezer time. Let's do like this. That's too high on the board, so I'm gonna have to lower the wire to make it to my liking. There we go. Now it's low. 
See, the lower the the lower it is, the lower the wire is, the better a connection you're gonna have long term. All right, so now time to take a regulator off of a donor. Run this over there and see if it smokes again. I only took a measurement on PP3V42 output. I didn't measure input. If this is short to ground on input because of a cap or something, then that could potentially blow up again. This is one of those very few times where damn it, this may have not been caused by liquid. I'm open to that. Okay, I had too much solder on the center pad, but don't worry, it's all magically fixable. Magically fixable. And do this, and bam. Melt everything in. Make sure my wire is nice and melted in. Make sure my cap is happy. And let's make this not crooked and lopsided. Push it down, make it flat on the board. Did I make that even more crooked and lopsided than it was originally? You idiot. You sure did. Oh, well. This is my warranty sticker. This is my version of a warranty sticker. If I open it up and I, I just look for the thing that's crooked, and I know that that's my work. Oh, well. Well, let's... Let me just remove the junk from the top of the casing. We can always ultrasonic this board to make it look less like I touched it later. But let's see what we have now. So this board is taking in a lot of heat. And notice it also has a scratch mark that I'm 99% certain was not caused by me. See that over there where the coating is ripped off and the copper is exposed? I didn't touch that section. So this was definitely fucked with in some way. Let me just get rid of this there. Okay. All right. So now I would say it's time to plug it in, see if we get anything. Sounds much nicer when you turn off all that noisy crap. So I'm going to keep the microscope in this area just in case as I turn it on it blows up because that would be a cool thing to catch on camera. Let's see what we get. Plugged it in. Green light. Fan spinning. And hey, nothing blew up. That's pretty cool. See? This is the MagSafe. It's orange. You can barely see that because of overexposure due to the light off of the camera. And the light off of the metal. But, eh. Look. It's on. See? It is on. So. Well, as always, I hope you learned something.